Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can connect your GrooveMail together with the Groove Pages in GrooveFunnel. Like how you should actually set it up like so easily so that you can start collect the emails and you automate it using your GrooveMail. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is that you need to set it up a form in your GrooveMail. So very simple, just log on to your GrooveFunnel and then just pick on GrooveMail, okay? And then I want you guys to make sure that you set it up your sender, okay? In order to set up the sender, just click on the sender and then click sender, okay? And then click new settings, okay? So you can always pick the sender's identity. I always put my name and sender's name is also my name. And sender's email, you can put like, this is my email and this is my email as well, okay? So I'm just going to pick on the default. And for business info, the unsubscribe tax, you can just fill in unsubscribe here, okay? And the company name, you can put your company name. Otherwise, you can always put your name, okay? Sorry. So same thing, if let's say you, you are comfortable with putting address, just put in for me. I just, for tutorial purpose, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. And hit on the save button. Okay, once you have done so, you probably see that this is unverified. Okay, what happened is that uh, basically for Groove, right? Groove mail will actually send you an email to this email address. Okay, and then you'll be able to receive an email by Groove mail to ask you to authenticate um, your... Let me show you guys. Group funnels will actually send you an email like this and then ask you to verify now. So what you need to do is just to click on this verify button. Okay. So once you've done so, it will say that verification is successful. So it means that you're already verified successfully. Okay. So the next thing that you need to know that's where you're able to see the verified is yes. Okay. So you can always set back which one is the default one. Okay. The next thing that you need to do is that I want you to go to a form of your groove mail. So just to build a very simple form, just to click form and click new form. Um, testing by June. So when I click on it, I will have few, it looks very complicated, but then do not worry. You are in good hands. I'm going to get you um, step by step on how to set up this groove mail, right? So next thing is that what is the op? in settings okay so for opt-in settings i'm just going to show you guys a single opt-in right now like without your leads can opt into your list without confirming to the email and what you need to set on the success page is that let's say your clients hit on the subscribe buttons right where you want to direct them to, uh, after they hit on the subscribe button so right now i'm just going to demonstrate that it's going to direct them to my website which is junlo.co okay so save and next and then once they subscribe to your email, do you want to send them an email request? So send by email. So the sender, I'm just going to pick the one that is already be, uh, uh, verified. And then hit on the subject, say, welcome to join me. Okay. And then preview you. Let's assume that this is the um, content of the email. And then you can always also put in the first name or the last name or whichever. This is this tag means that if let's say your client, your prospect actually find their email, find their first name and last name in the form, this will automatically populate that um, directly and automatically. You can also hit on like view in HTML or without. You can always put a link and also the pictures here. Okay. So once you have done that, so feel free to click next save and next you wear which kind of list that you want to subscribe them to so probably for your case you don't have any list right now here right so what you need to do is just go back to groove groove mail okay let me lock on so this is your groove mail and then just to go to the leads and list here just create a new list say testing list list rate and then create the list okay so once you've done that uh in inside here right you should be able to populate one extra okay i because just now i did it in another screen so if let's say i want to refresh that i will need to start all over again so let's refresh it okay 
So let's start all over. So it's the same thing here, just save next. Um, single opt-in, success page, I want to go to junlo.co. Welcome sent by email, which is already selected. And then the list here, I'm just going to have the second one, testing list. And you can always tag them. You want to assign tag anything that you want to, you can actually set it up. But then today, that's not our main focus. Okay, so let's add them to this testing list. Okay, and then save and click next. And here you go. You are going to get one HTML code, right? I want you guys to copy this code out in a notepad, maybe in a notepad. Okay, so just copy and paste here because this is what we are going to use it in our landing page and squeeze page in group pages. So right now we are going to hit on the save and exit. So let's get back to our group pages to really build a squeeze page and up informed. So click on the group pages. I'll be clicking on a new site and I want to build from scratch. Okay, so this is Damon on junlo.co groove mail. Okay. So when I start building, the entire page is actually blank because I did not select any templates. You can also work with templates. If let's say you want to start from scratch, you can go to this block because it's going to be like a landing page. I want to be like a form. Um, you can always pick this. I pick this template and I drag it over on the right hand side, right? Okay, this form is fake. It's not even integrated with roof mail. So what you need to do is just to delete this form entirely. Hit on, make sure this red border is at the outer stage. Hit the delete button. And then I want you to go on the elements here because we are going to embed the code inside. So just scroll to the very bottom. Oh, where is this code? Uh, let me show you guys. Okay, maybe it's at a block. Okay, I found it. It's actually at the elements here. <laughs> at the very bottom, others. Can you guys see the code embed? Okay, so if let's say you couldn't find it, okay, one of the key tricks I used just now is just to control F and then find code. Okay, we want to embed the code here. So that's why you're clicking this code embed and then drag it to be somewhere here. Okay, so over here, it means that whatever code that you want to embed, you can embed over here. Just click on this bar. Can you guys see that it's a gear button here? Just click on it. You will appear on this, this screen where you can edit the source codes. So I want you to go to just now, the one, the copy and paste that you've done, which let me refresh you. You went on testing on the Groove Mail, and then that's where you're getting this code at the end. Just copy and paste it here and hit on save. Okay. What happens is that this form is currently embed to here right now. Okay, so what you want to do is that if let's say there's any certain background color you wish to change, you can always make the aesthetic changing. And then next thing is that you just need to hit on the save button and publish. So same thing, if let's say you're first time publishing, remember to set your subdomain with group pages. And my subdomain is June and this is my um, I was saying <laughs> Groove Mail demonstration by June um, using uh, how we connect the Groove Mail with the Groove Funnels, right? So right now I'm going to hit the publish button. Okay, so it's your first time publishing. It's going to take a little while. Like you're going to see a success button here. Usually it will take me about five seconds, to 10 seconds uh, in order to make sure I can view the page. So let's click on it. Yes, it's now available. Okay, let's try on. Uh, I'm just going to put, you know what? I'm just going to put hi Junlo. That's my email. That's my first name. Let's say <laughs> hit on the sub submit button. It will then. Oh, okay. One mistake here that I also make just now is that here they couldn't load to a new page successfully, right? So I already. I already debug it. Actually, the problem is because of um, the loading part, which let me go back to the Groove Mail. Okay. One of the mistakes that I make is actually at the form here. Okay. 
just now we were using testing by June, right? Can you guys see that here is a one submission which is I just submitted. It's just that it did not load to the correct, uh, correct redirect page. The reason it did not load correctly is because just now during the opt-in settings success page, I forgot to put in the HTTPS. <laughs> yes, it's that simple. <laughs> okay, let's hit on the save button and then see what it will turn out next. Okay, so testing list is the same thing, right? We hit save. Okay, let's try again to make sure it loads successfully. So this is a page just now, right? Okay, so right now I'm going to hit on another email of my, this email, June. And hit mail, submit again. So it should populate to another page to which I, yes, right now it's correctly done because you remember you must include the HTTPS slash otherwise it wouldn't pop up correctly with the groove mail redirection right so this is done ready so let's check on our groove mail whether the lead is being captured okay how you actually check on is go back to your groove go back to the leads go to the list okay so that's where you're able to see my lead over here the second time i feel in is actually june right so right now i'm just going to show you guys like uh what are the automation I have been receiving? Okay, let me update my folder. Yes, I received this. You remember just now when we are setting the automation, I actually I actually set up the first name and last name. This is a tag. And then also this is the email that I'm getting. So that's all you need to do in order to set up correctly. Um, yep, so I hope that you guys learned uh, how to set up the Groove Mail successfully be, uh, using this tutorial. One of the key things is that do not make my same mistake that I made. If let's say I want to set the redirection, always make sure that you put in the HTTPS. And also this is how to set up the Groove Mail and connect up with your Groove Pages and set up your landing page very successfully. So I hope that you guys love this tutorial video. If let's say you love it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also leave me some comments, likes so that I know that that this tutorial help you guys if let's say, let's say you face some of the problems and you need help feel free to comment down below as well and also feel free to join my group it's called amazing story you can go to www.amazingstory.co to join my facebook groups so that i can teach you how to get more sales and more clients without any ad spends and close deals faster via authority building and i look forward to see you guys tomorrow then take care bye